So now, how does screenshot testing work with Repito? I opened an app here. It looks quite complicated. This is what we use for internal testing. Um, and just going to create a new test here and record a single click to go to this settings page here. And what I want to do now is to tell Repito to make sure that this screen looks exactly like this. Also in future versions, when we're going to run the test again in a couple of weeks, Repito should check that this screen looks exactly like it does now. So one way to do that is to add a check content step here. And I'm going to tell Repito to look for this element here. And then I will add a second check content step and tell Repito to look for this, for these elements down there. So let's um, just check if the test is actually working. Yeah, Repito checked both elements. So now we could save this to the library, right? We're going to name it um, notification settings. And now let's say it's two weeks later and a new version of the app comes in and we need to check it again. So I just started the new version of the app and let's run the test and see if it still works. So Repito tries to locate the element, but as you can see, it failed here. Repito also assists us with the dialogue to figure out what exactly went wrong. So we click here and Repito shows us this dialog, which allows us to switch back and forth between the original version when we ran the test successfully the last time and the current version. And it makes it really simple uh, to, to spot the difference, right? So there was a version number added and we need to, to make sure that's not a bug, right? So we might talk to the developers about it, whether that was an intentional change or not. And it's also easy to see that there is another difference, um, namely the section down here is jumping up and down. So originally it was more up and now it went more down. And that's also something we could check uh, with the designers, whether that's intentional or unintentional. So maybe let's just quickly fix this. Let's say the developers confirmed that this is an intentional change. So we're just gonna fix this and we're gonna continue to run the test and you see uh, the test completes. So in Repito 1.3 and above, there is also an alternative version of screenshot testing, which is even easier to set up. In order to show you how it's working, I just created a different test now, which toggles a couple of switches and it looks like this. Let's just run this quickly. Yeah, and now the screenshot testing option can be activated in the settings here. Uh, you just check this checkbox here, and then you need to set the certain threshold. The higher the threshold, the more critical it will be about reporting certain changes in your UI. So let's say now it's two weeks later again, and the new version comes in. One second, so we just installed the new version of the app. And now let's run the test again. As you can see, Repito executes the whole test, but it also reports the screen differences it found in the test. So as you might notice, there is also another indicator now here. There is a circle uh, which indicates how much difference was found in the screens. It's this tiny white region here that makes the difference. It also tells you screen similarity of 93% is below the threshold of 95%. So this circle represents 93% and this white spot up here represents the 7% that we're not matching. So it's very easy to get an overview of the screens that didn't match. 
And now if we click one of those arrows again, we have the possibility to check what actually changed. I see that's the 7% change that was detected by Repito. So this of course will not just work here in the record and run module in our test designer, but also in the batch runner, right? So if I add our test to the batch runner, usually I would have a whole lot more of tests, of course, but just to keep this simple now, I will run the test here in the batch runner because I also want to show you how the reports look like when you run into this situation where a couple of screen checks are failing. So we create the batch run report and we take a look at it. So here's the very short report. And if we open this one test, it's going to scroll right down to the problems it found. And as you can see here side by side, it's very simple to spot the differences already um, that it found. But if we are hovering over this region, it becomes even more obvious. But the batch viewer creates an overlay of both screenshots. So you can also see that the position of the lower region is different. Right? I mean here, the version number was added, but also down here, you can see that some shifts happened, which is maybe not that obvious here in, in the screen. You might easily spot the difference of the version number, but maybe not that the whole lower section here shifted down. So you might wonder what's used as a baseline for comparing screenshots. When are the original screenshots actually created, right? So Repito uses a previous test run that succeeded in order to compare the latest test run screenshots. And you can see that if you click here on this drop down. Here you can see this one, this test run right here is marked as reference test run because it was the most recent executed test run that succeeded. Whereas this one that failed is marked as the latest test run. So those two test runs are compared on a step-by-step -step basis. So maybe that sounds complicated now. Basically, you don't really have to care about it because every time your test succeeds, a new reference test run is created, which is going to be used in consecutive test runs for comparing the screenshots.